So once your piece is done and you like the way it looks, you want to make sure your tool arm is out of the way, and then you get your wire cutting tool. You're going to use this to remove the piece from the bat head. If you do it when it's wet, it is a little bit easier than if it gets too dry. I usually take my wire tool and wrap it around my fingers a few times. Then I use my pointer fingers to press down on the bat as I drag it along the base of my piece. And this is a tricky step. And the first time you do it, you may cut through the bottom of your piece. But stick with it and keep trying, and eventually you'll be able to cut through without cutting a hole in the bottom of your piece. Once it's been cut with the wire tool, you can take the bat and remove it from the wheel and set it off to the side to dry. There are so many things you can do with your piece now that it has been thrown. You can add handles, you can add more decoration with other clay, but you do want to let the clay dry to a consistency that doesn't move when you touch it. If I were to touch the piece now, the walls would wiggle and collapse on themselves. So you want to let the piece dry until it's able to be handled without changing the shape of the clay.